Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's Monday morning, and I'm just reflecting on our event from Friday evening. It was a great success. Uh, I was really happy with everybody that came out. There's already some great relationships being built, a lot of connections, strategic alliances being made, and that's awesome. That's exactly what we are looking for in this group. And so I just wanted to give you a few tips that I mentioned on Friday for those who weren't there to help you make this networking group um, the the best possible. First thing, uh, this is not a BNI or LATIP type group. This is not something to where uh, everybody's going to be sectioned off into groups of six or eight and you can only work with people in that group. Um, actually this works much better if you make a lot of connections and you learn what people's niches are so that uh, you know Sally can refer to Bob and Bob can refer to John and John can refer to Raul and however you guys want to do it but um, you know essentially the the size of the group makes it very effective for us to find relationships that are a great fit for whatever our needs are and, and that's really the point um, but that being said the first the first uh, the first thing we need to do to make sure that works is to stay active um, so my first tip would be to check on the group often I actually make part of my daily morning social media routine to check on the the LinkedIn groups specifically this one and to see what people have posted, uh, look at articles that I can probably, you know, that I can offer to the group and put in my own reflections and just uh, contribute, just stay active on the group. Second thing is, and that leads right into the second thing, is the second tip is to find articles from mentors or respected peers in the industry, industry leaders, and share them with the group. There's always a link on most news sites and, of course, on LinkedIn where when you can share the article you can select to share it with the group and then put in your own comments specifically your own personal experience about your business and how it portray you know how the article relays into what you do and your own insights because that's how people start to get to know you before they actually get to meet you in purpose um, the third is to reach out to people set up coffee tea dates I'm a tea drinker myself um, but to meet, up, to meet up with people, lunch can be good, but sometimes um, I like to personally make notes when I meet people so I can get a better idea of, of, of their business and things like that. So set up times where you can meet with people, make connections. Um, just so you know, you know, this group is in its infancy and where I, I already saw some really some sparks being, uh, um, some sparks coming off from the, from the group on Friday night. Uh, it will take time to develop relationships to where you both trust and you develop relationships that are a good fit for you but in order to do that you do have to reach out you really do have to reach out and spend time getting to know people and tell people about yourself because um, as much as people want to know that you want to know about them people need to know about you and it's a two-way street so let's let's be active in the group let's stay in touch with each other um, lastly, my commitment to the group, my commitment to the group is to help continue make the, the group grow. Right now it's over 600 members. The goal and our experience is that the group should actually get up to 1,000, maybe 1,200 members in a few months. But for being less than two months old, I think 600 members is pretty good so far. My all other commitment, of course, is to make sure the group is productive, meaning if someone is not uh, using the group correctly like we had to block that one guy who was doing political spamming that was fun wasn't it um, but we will we'll make sure the group is, is working well in that way and then the last thing is I do actually have a personal commitment to sit down with as many of you as possible get to know your business find out uh, connections that can be made I've already referred a couple of you to each other and I think you guys had some some great responses there and that's my job is really to not just manage the group online but to also reach out to you guys on an individual basis and take however long it takes to, to sit down with you individually and find out more about your business and, and you individually and what, what you're looking for, what can really help your business and what kind of rela relationships you want to get out of the, the group. If you guys have any requests of me, if you guys have any things that you'd like to see more in the group, we are having more networking and events pretty soon. We're also having some business related, um, you know, strategic business 
events, seminars that will be coming up um, with some of the strategic partners within the group. So keep your eye out for that. Stay active and look forward to meeting you guys in person. Have a great day.